Imagine you don't have a car, but you really need one, and you can't really borrow from any of your acquaintance. You can choose to buy one or to rent one. Buying upfront is already expensive, not to mention installments and maintenance, and the cheap option is to rent a car from a rental. Now imagine in place of a car, you need state-of-the-art expensive computer equipments. That's where you need infrastructure as a service. In a nutshell, EAS provides you with hardware over the internet so that you don't have to pay up for all that expensive equipment. These hardwares include supercomputer components, storage, network connectivities. Customers can access any of these resources, only pay for what they need, and cancel the service at any time. That means you don't need to invest in physical infrastructure, which can be extremely expensive in terms of setup and ongoing maintenance. Examples of EAS provider companies include Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud, and Microsoft Azure, these tech giants already have their physical supercomputers laying about in their warehouses and tech farms, and they offer these supercomputers to be used over the internet by anyone who's willing to pay a small fee. Here's what EAS can offer. The most common use for EAS is a virtual PC for general computing purposes. For AI and machine learning, they can offer the use of powerful graphics processing unit. They also offer high-performance computers for specific heavy workloads. For general usage, they offer storage where you can store your photos, videos, and documents. They also come in blocks to store files that must be attached together to function. Finally, they can offer network, the element that ties everything together which accounts for the speed of the connection and the volume of data transferred. EAS tools can enable your company to grow and scale by building and managing its data on the cloud. Typically, EAS providers use physical servers located around the world to handle their customers' data. End users access these resources via virtual servers, either through the EAS provider's own dashboard or by using an API to integrate the provider with your company's own dashboard. EAS is a great tool to have for businesses as it comes with advantages. More control, EAS tools on cloud infrastructure infrastructure give companies significant control over their software and hardware. Cost-effective, simple pay-as-you-go pricing models mean you only pay for the resources that you use. Multiple users can access the resource. Great for large, enterprise-level teams. Save on resources. It removes the need to buy, install, and maintain a physical server. Increased flexibility. You can easily scale or downsize your EAS provider to reflect your changing business needs. Here are some scenarios where you would want to have an EAS subscription on hand. Lift and shift migration. This is the fastest and least expensive method of migrating an application or workload to the cloud. Without refactoring your underlying architecture, you can increase the scale and performance, enhance the security, and reduce the costs of running an application or workload. Test and development. Your team can quickly set up and dismantle test and development environments, bringing new applications to market faster. ES makes it quick and economical to scale dev test environments up and down. Storage, backup, and recovery. Your organization avoids the capital outlay for storage and the complexity of storage management, which typically requires a skilled staff to manage data and meet legal and compliance requirements. EAS is useful for handling unpredictable demand and steadily growing storage needs. It also can simplify planning and management of backup and recovery systems. Web apps. EAS provides all the infrastructure to support web apps, including storage, web and application servers, and networking resources. Your organization can quickly deploy web apps on EAS and easily auto-scale infrastructure up and down when demand for the apps is unpredictable. In use cases for big data, high-performance computing on supercomputers, computer grids, or computer clusters helps solve complex problems involving millions of variables or calculations. Examples include protein folding and earthquake simulations, climate and weather predictions, financial modeling, and product design evaluations. With all that being said, there are some disadvantages when considering an EAS subscription. Potential security risks. Having your data and software hosted on a third-party server can bring security and privacy risks if they were not well set up. Integration issues. Potential difficulties in customizing your ES provider to work with legacy systems. 
More work for your team. ES tools may give you the most control, but they also require the highest level of hands-on work. You'll need your own developers to set up and configure everything. Your ES provider only gives you the servers and its API. And who is the target audience for EAS? In short, any businesses hoping to expand can profit from using infrastructure as a service. They are good for enterprise organizations running high-performance applications that need ultimate control, or startups needing to conserve money and resources while building their own hardware and software, and fast-growing companies that regularly adjust their computing resources to fit shifting needs. And that is the basics on infrastructure as a service. Please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notification for more tech videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.